I'm with AircraftSimulatorTraining.com in Santa Rosa, California. We do one-day single-engine training, emergency procedures. We do recurrent training, and we do initial training for all the twin Cessna lines, as well as Navajos, Aztecs, and King Airs. Right now, uh, I'm sitting on the runway 14 at Santa Rosa. We've got the sim in a pause situation. And one of our most popular courses is our one-day single engine training. We do engine pulls in these airplanes until the pilot gets down, gets it down, the total procedures for saving an airplane on the runway, after liftoff, or at altitude. One of the things that we teach are shortcut methods to basically teach you how to stabilize the airplane, get the airplane under control so you can take a deep breath, see the plane's going to fly with what you have as far as uh, weight and passengers and fuel and then have an emergency plan to get you back to an airport safely. Right now I'm going uh, to take it off of pause and we are going to do a takeoff and don't be surprised if we don't have a fuel problem and lose an engine after takeoff. So we are lined up with 1-4, we'll start bringing in our power. And this again is a 421C without VGs. On the roll, we're going to look for about 8 over red line. There we go. We're going to start a rotation. Positive rate. We're going to get our gear coming off the runway. We're about 300 feet. And then all of a sudden, we lose an engine. We're going to teach heading control. We're going to let the nose come down and catch the BSI full power. We're going to verify the loss of engine on our fuel flow rather than dead foot dead engine because if you've got turbulence, that's going to make the plane wiggle and it can confuse you. It is the right engine on the fuel flow and we are feathering. I'm not doing anything else. I've got the plane stabilized. I'm a, on a positive rate, slightly 100 to 200 feet per minute on my VSI giving me blue line. Now I can take a deep breath and I can start working the emergency. And we definitely have a fuel problem. We're going to check our pumps, put them to high just like we would in a Ford regular 421C. That did not solve our problem. We do have time. We can go through a restart. But in the meantime, the way we're loaded and the way this sim is set, we're basically climbing out at 400 feet per minute at blue line. Let's try to save our engine. So I'm going to bring the quadrant, throttle quadrant back and bring it back under to control about 30 inches. Let's bring that prop back and let's see what she's going to do. I want to work about a hundred feet per minute to work my climb. And then our game plan is to go back to the airport. How do I know where the airport is? Because in the 530 I drew the runway heading for runway 14. Now, Let's see what we've got. We're going to hold the heading that creates a lift vector, and I'm working a hundred feet per minute. Even though I'm beyond blue line, I'm able to climb. This is how close we teach the parameters in these airplanes. Now, I've still got some engine left, and I've actually got the RPM a little low, so I'm going to take it up, and also I'm going to add a little power. There we go. I'm going to trim accordingly. 100 feet per minute, a little bit below blue line, but the plane is responding. We're still holding straight out from the airport. I'm not going back to the airport yet. I'm going to get that plane stabilized. I'm going to make sure I've got control. I'm going to make sure I'm on the positive side of the vertical speed indicator, and I have safe airspeed. I'm getting a little low, so I'll start going down to about 200 feet per minute and just slowly work it up. That'll increase our airspeed. Now, let's try to make a turn back to the airport. I'm making it into the dead engine. You come to the school, we'll tell you why we do this. 200 feet per minute, slow turn. We still got some climb going. Little turbulence. Coaxing it around at 200 feet per minute. Read the book. The best you're going to get out of these airplanes at sea level is roughly 350 to 400. Even with strikes and VGs and, the, of course, the standard 421C engine is not modified any higher than 375 horsepower. So shallow turn around, back to the airport. Where do I know it is? I had it drawn in. 
So I want to get back on that runway heading. 200 feet per minute, slow turn. We're still holding 90 knots. If you had some VGs and strakes on this airplane, it would do better than that. We're going to make a cut into the uh, final approach course for runway 32. Why 32? Why aren't you flying a pattern? Go look at the 310R that went down at John Wayne. He was trying to get back in a pattern. Remember, you need to tell ATC what you want to do and where you want to put it. If you've got a tailwind, but you have a 5,000 plus runway, you're just going to land a little longer. And we're going to teach you also what to do when you do touchdown with one engine pulley. And it's not the standard procedure that you think you would, would, would it, that it would be like the FAA procedures would have taught you. But we're going to teach you how to be safe. Stabilize the airplane. That's what this is all about. Stabilizing the airplane. Running a little less than blue line, we're running about 100 feet per minute, and we're working back to the airport. I'm not going to get any higher. There's our airport. We're turning on our final course to the runway. We're going to teach you when you need to hit the gear. We've got something that we call putting the gear down towards getting towards the runway that it stabilizes the plane, and we'll teach you that. We're going to tell you when to get the flaps, and we're also going to teach you the way we do the rollout on the engine loss. I'm not going to tell you all our little secrets. We've worked on these for years. A lot of these guys, like me, have been flying twins for a long time, and we've had engine problems. There we go. We're coming into the airport, keeping our lift vector on our right wing up. Looks looking great. Speed control is good. We're going to keep it around 120 knots. And visual angle, since we are BFR, is looking real great. Airplane stable. And that's where I'm going to stop you because from here on in, we're going to teach you special ways that uh, we teach our students on how to get it on the ground. Make sure everybody's okay and happy and your airplane's in good shape. Give us a call, aircraftsimulatortraining.com, or contact us on the web. Our phones are answered 24-7. We'd be happy to work with you on our single engine program, a recurrent program, or a full initial program in the aircraft.